Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm going to be reviewing my first Bath & Body Works candle in quite a while. As you can see I've got a candle called But First Coffee. Um, I actually purchased this in 2017 so it's quite a while ago. It's been sitting on the shelf gathering dust because I know this label is quite hard to get hold of. Um, they've bought out coffee scents since but there was quite a bit of controversy around the label. Um, there was an artist saying that Bath & Body Works had taken the design without asking. If you're a big Bath & Body Works fan, you would have known they took it off the shelves and I managed to get one before it was taken off the shelves. So I was a bit hesitant to burn it, but I need to stop holding so many candles. So I'm trying to be good. Um, and to be honest, just from the smell of this on a cold sniff, it absolutely stunk of coffee. So I was a bit scared of what it was going to be like when I started burning it, but I thought, no, just give it a go. We'll see what happens. Um, so I started burning it under the lamp. And as you can see, it's the standard Bath & Body Works three wick candle, roughly 25 to 45 hour burn time, 14.5 ounces. Um, this one has just got the plain silver lid. Um, and you can see there, it's just that sort of minty green color. Um, I have burnt this under the lamp twice. It's been an absolutely lovely burn. Um, the notes for this are simply rich roasted coffee with sugared brioche and vanilla creme. Um, for me, all they needed to put on this candle was coffee. Um, it absolutely stinks. If you do not like the smell of coffee, don't ever, ever, ever get this candle. Um, I don't know if you've heard me say in reviews before, but I've got quite an open plan sort of front room um kitchen dining room area so it is hard sometimes to get certain candles to throw in that area but this one oh my god i actually had to stop burning it after the second time because it was making my partner matt feel unwell um because he said it smelled the coffee in this is so so strong it's probably the first candle i'm actually gonna give a throw of 10 out of 10 because it is just exactly what it says on the front um and there's nothing bad to say about it all i would say is if you do not like the smell of coffee do not get this candle now, i really liked the smell of it because i like the smell of coffee so the the strength of it didn't really bother me but matt hates coffee so the smell of it was well too overpowering for him um to be honest it's one that i'll probably keep but i i'm more likely to actually cut it up and use it as tarts or in wax warmers because the candle itself underneath the lamp is just very, very strong and overpowering. But if you are a big coffee lover and you love coffee, I would highly recommend trying to get this candle. Um, it's been absolutely lovely. And yeah, I did get it a couple of years ago, so it is quite hard to get this label and this style of one now. Um, but Bath & Body Works do bring out other coffee scented candles. Um, if you like a, a lighter scent of coffee, then I'd recommend waiting until they bring out one that's coffee mixed with other scents. But this one is exactly what it says on the front of the jar. Super, super strong coffee. The first 10 out of 10 I've ever given because it is just a hit you in the face sort of scent. But definitely if you're burning it in a small room, it is going to be well too overpowering, I think, unless you are a proper coffee addict and you really love that smell. Um, but thank you for watching. I'm glad I finally got this one burn and I will get some new reviews out for you soon.